that I should start saying that because that's my name for you guys anyway. So I guess that's how I'll start off my videos now. You guys are like my little oranges. Anyway, it's hot. Like, really hot. Hotter than Harry Styles. That should be a temperature forecast. I want to hear the weatherman say, it's so hot, it's like hotter than Harry Styles in here. I wonder how Harry would feel about that if he just heard that on the TV. He'd be like, yeah, it is. I feel so patriotic today because I'm wearing the flag. Because America. Wow, I've barely even started the video and I'm already sweating. I think it's because of all the bullshit. Speaking of bullshit, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. Okay, you know me, I always like to start off a video by talking about Harry's hair. Because guys, there is literally an Instagram page dedicated to the Dunkirk film, and it has all these new pictures of Harry. I think the Instagram name is actually called the Dunkirk film or something like that. So we didn't get a lot of new pictures. Oh my gosh, here's Harry being athletic, climbing up a wall. I would never be able to do that. Harry with a heart blood stain on his hand, oh my god. Harry looking like he's gonna go fuck somebody up. And another picture of Harry looking like he didn't know somebody was taking a picture of him, and he's like, oh, I didn't see you there. We see you, Harry. There's so many pictures of this film that I think by the time the movie comes out, we will already know what the film's about. Because this movie's coming out, I think, July 21st or 22nd, depending on where you live in the world. I wish it was this year, but no, it's 2017. I mean, that's too long. Why not tomorrow? Or today? What about right now? I would be so happy to pause this video right now and just go to the theater and watch this movie. Actually, no, I would bring you guys with me. Field trip. But anyway, in total, these are all the pictures that have surfaced of the movie with Harry in it, and I'm so excited. Excited. Okay, now on to the news that kind of confuses me. Okay, I said in a couple videos ago that I didn't really believe in the RBB account anymore because there was a tweet they tweeted before and it just sounded like a fan tweeted it or a troll. So I'm really suspicious about this account. I really don't believe it. But for the people who still have hope in it, their recent tweet says the bears will be back differently. And even though I don't believe in this account, I was still really curious about this tweet. So we haven't been seeing a lot of the bears recently, but apparently they're coming back, but differently? I wonder what differently means in this case. Speaking of the rainbow bondage bears, okay, do you remember that old RBB pic where there was a sign in the background that said Hethro and then it said M25 and people thought that meant May 25th and that something was gonna happen? Well, May 25th has passed and I don't think anything happened, but it was weird. There was a lot of coincidences that led up to this to make us think that something would happen on this date. So in the back of this picture, you can see the sign. It says Hethro and then M25. And then if you look at Lottie's recent tweet, she wrote exciting day tomorrow. And she wrote that on the 24th, which would lead us to believe that something would happen on the 25th. And then depending on where you were in the world, Louis either arrived to Hethro airport on the 24th or the 25th. I only saw pictures of Louis alone at the airport. I'm not sure if Danielle was with him. I think I only saw pictures of Louis solo. And to be honest, he looked happier. I saw a smile on his face and that was without Danielle. I love coincidences. So I think the something that happened was just Louie going to the airport. Unless there was something else I missed. Because yesterday was the 25th and nothing really big happened. But if you guys know more information, tell me below. Okay, so the RBB thing was the first thing that confused me and now the second thing that confuses me is this MTV account. So in the past we've had MTV be hacked. At least we think they were hacked. They kept posting Larry and stuff about Larry on their page and we're like, where is this coming from? But now if you go to MTV's Instagram Instagram profile. On their page it says they follow two people and then those two people are Louie and Harry. I mean why? Like this is cool but why? I just don't understand. Are they trying to make us react? Is this for the fans? Was this unintentional? Like what is this? Is this MTV being hacked by a Larry shipper or is something going on? Well whatever I approve. The reason why I kept thinking I saw Louie and Danielle at Heathrow Airport on the 25th is because Louie and Danielle were actually out at an airport on the 23rd at LAX. So I knew I saw pictures of Louie and Danielle, but it just wasn't at Heathrow. I mean, I've really nothing to say about these pictures. It's kind of the same old, same old. Like, yep, he's with her again. I'll admit, Louie looks really good though. I don't know, what do you guys think about these pictures? Are you guys just numb to them now? Do you guys not care if you see a picture of Louie and Danielle together? Cause I don't anymore. I'm just like, oh, there they are again. Pew. But people have mixed opinions about this. Like with me, I honestly don't care if I see Louie and Danielle together anymore, but other people actually have a lot of theories behind it. But this person explains why this whole thing's shady. It says, Father of the Year, Louis Tomlinson, jets to London for a minimum of 12 days with his girlfriend, who also ditched a fan meet and greet to go with him after a one week stay in Mexico, where the loved up duo were papped twice. Mr. Privacy, please, managed to squeeze in three hours of critical bonding time with his son in a Starbucks parking lot while he and his mother, stylist, 
journalist, Brianna, made their hand off under the careful watch of the paparazzi. Give me a break if you think this is normal behavior. So even though I'm numb to all these pictures, it doesn't mean I don't find it shady. I agree with this person. I feel like everything that Louis does is very staged and very watched. I just feel like if this whole situation was normal, it would be like Liam or Niall. And oh my gosh, I love this. Here's an opinion from someone totally outside the fandom. They say, why is this big news again? If the dude actually had a kid, he should take a paternity test and give the kid's mother the money. Y'all don't toss children around like toys, but dude ain't got no kid. He's dating Tarzan dude in his band. Dude gay as fuck. Boyfriend polite dude from what I've heard. Good luck on your relationship. Next. Tarzan dude. He right. The fact that most of that was broken English, but I understood every word of it. I just understand Larry language. I know most of you watching me probably agree with most of the things I say, but for the other group who think that, oh, Louis would have come out by now, or Louis's not gay because blah, blah, blah. Well, here's an article to maybe open your brain up a little bit and to give some insight. So this says actor Colton Hayes comes out as gay. Television star Colton Hayes talks openly about his sexuality and his battle with anxiety in a new interview. So here's what Colton said. He said, for those of you who are new to Hollywood or any business, be careful who you work with. Watch out for liars, brainwashers, and manipulators. Those who promise you the world and fuck you over, leaving you blindsided. If and when this happens to you, I promise you will make it out alive. Take it from me. I knew it was happening the entire time and I'm doing so much better in life without that fake influence who projected negativity on me because they were too afraid to own up to their own insecurities. Sorry for the realness. Actually, I'm not. I'm done apologizing for things I didn't do. Yeah, it's my boy. So, um, <clears throat> modest. I think One Direction's management team should read that. And I know it's probably not all modest to blame. There's probably other people. But like, for real, for all those little girls in the fandom who are like, no, Louis's not gay because blah, blah, blah. Or like, he would have come out by now. Or just like doing all these little excuses. They have to look at older influences or even people in the past, Lance Bass, people from other bands who have gone through these experiences with these management companies. And it's not as easy as just saying he would have come out by now. Some people who are even allowed to come out don't want to yet. Maybe they don't feel comfortable. Maybe they don't find a need to. Personally, I think Harry and Louie are a little different. I think Harry and Louie are on two different pages and maybe this caused them to break up if they did. I think Harry is very comfortable and confident with himself now. It shows. But I think Harry is not the type who wants to outwardly say like, I'm gay or I'm this. He doesn't find a point in labeling himself and telling the whole world what he is because he's afraid that people will pay more attention to that than what he's doing with his profession. Kind of like Harry with the word famous, he said it kind of takes away the substance of who he really is. I think in Louis's case, Louis probably just doesn't want to be gay. I think Louis is scared. I don't think Louis is as confident as Harry is. And this is just based on observation. I have no proof of this. But if you look at the difference between Louis and Harry, I think that internally there's different things going on. Not only would Louis be saying this to like a couple people, he's basically saying it to this huge fan base, like almost the whole world. Even people who aren't in the fandom would find out. And it's scary. So I think we should cut Harry and Louis a little slack. We shouldn't keep saying like, oh, when are they going to come out? They should come out now. There's no date when people should come out. We shouldn't pressure them. They should do it when they feel they should. I mean, I can pretty much relate. I've only told my friends, but it's really not a big deal. Okay, and now on to my last topic, and this is about Niall, and you probably already know where this is going, but Niall was put into this group chat of fans, and they were harassing him, and he did a bunch of tweets about it, and this, like, really broke my heart when I read it. It says, for the last two weeks, I've been receiving messages off a group of fans. They have drowned my phone in messages keeping me awake at night, but the worst part is they have been nothing but abusive saying things you wouldn't even believe about me and my family and saying the worst things ever about my little nephew thank god I'm not the kind of person who thinks into stuff like this but I just think it's crazy how we let people away with things like this and the sad thing is as I tweet this they are in the group chat laughing at me don't worry about me I'm the most carefree laid-back person around but I'm just signaling it because this shit is happening to others okay one I'm disgusted by this but two I'm really proud of Niall for speaking out about this because he's right this does happen to others and I'm glad he's using his platform to talk about it like, hey, not only does this stuff happen to you guys, but it happens to me as a big celebrity. But yeah, like, what has happened to this generation? I know this has been happening for a while, but I just don't understand. You're not real fans if you put Niall in this group chat and you're, like, making fun of him, saying abusive things, even about his nephew. I don't even know what else to say about that. Like, I think everyone knows who even watches my videos. That's just uncalled for. And I hope none of you would ever do that. But I'm glad Niall did say he doesn't really think too much into it, so hopefully he's not letting it affect his health. But I hope it stopped. So this is yesterday the blonde member of One Direction tweeted an 
orange alert level cry for help, or six if we're counting tweets, in the face of menacing cyber attacks. Some fans have found his WhatsApp and have thrown him into the gauntlet of a group thread full of nothing but abusive messages about Niall and his family. Poor Niall, nobody deserves trolling like this, not even 1D members who were just revealed to be possibly planning a solo career. Okay, so I agree with all that so far, but then they said this. Just because Niall Horan registered a new solo track, genetically titled Don't Give Up On Our Love, with the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, does not mean that the remains of One Direction are completely dissolving. It could just be a creative bifurcation venture. I think I said that right. Maybe it's a conspiracy to distract us from bigger news. Perhaps there is a Larry truth lying under the slippery surface. Something just doesn't seem right. But honestly though, any true directioner should realize that basically all their songs are about love and not cyberbullying. So it seems kind of counterintuitive and not very Stan-like at all to attack poor Niall and his tiny nephew. Settle Larry, settle. So I still agree with all that. I just didn't know Niall was writing the song and working with a bunch of publishers, authors, composers. But yeah, this is just like Harry. Just because Niall might be working on solo projects or doing that doesn't mean the rest of the band is splitting up. I mean, Harry's doing his own thing, Niall's doing his own thing, Louis's doing his own thing, Liam's doing his own thing. I think that's what a normal band does. I think it's unhealthy if they're together all the time. So yeah, I don't think the band is splitting up and if anything, I'm happy that they're working on these things. It means that they're growing and maturing as artists and we should be proud of that. But anyway, that's all I'm gonna talk about today. I know there's other things to discuss, but I'll say it in my other video. Also, I said I would do this in the beginning of the video, but I forgot. Shout out to Blaine. He was basically one of my first fans, and I just want to say I love you. So anyway, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye.